Mm, so I just got done making some homemade strawberry jam with all the leftover strawberries that we got from the strawberry patch and I'm really excited to try this. It looks so good. So I'm going to try it with a piece of toast. Oh, fell off. Piece of toast. This is a funky piece of toast I got. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's better than like the store brand. Mmm. Y'all. I don't know why I haven't been making this stuff from homemade. Scratch and been buying at the store. This is top notch. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how I made it. Oh, it was super simple, easy, and I'm telling you, this is way better than store-bought. First, you're gonna go ahead and wash your strawberries and then cut them all up. Then you're gonna take out your weight scale, and this recipe calls for three pounds of strawberries. So I ended up getting a little bit more than three pounds, but that's okay, I just used whatever I had left. Um, so a little over three pounds. Then you're gonna go ahead and pour them into the pan. Next, you're gonna go ahead and get sugar. We use cane sugar and for three pounds of strawberries, it calls for three and three fourths cups of sugar. So you're gonna go ahead and put your sugar on in the pan. And then after your sugar, you're gonna go ahead and grab some lemon juice. And this recipe for this much calls for five to six tablespoons of lemon juice. So you're gonna go ahead and add that on in. Next, you're gonna go ahead and mix that up on a medium low setting. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and mash it with a potato masher and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes until it becomes a rubber boil. After that, you're gonna go ahead and put them into your jars. Now you can either give them a water bath and can them if you want them for long-term use or let them cool down and put them in your fridge and enjoy, super yummy.